All right, uh, obviously a, a hard fought uh, game with a disappointing ending there. Um, a lot of credit to the guys. You know, we got into a spell there where we were being outplayed and we weren't playing with confidence offensively and they went on a 15-0 run there and we countered uh, with, a, with, a, with a great response down the stretch, took the lead and needed to stop, you know, a tough play. We followed a jump shooter and that proved to be the difference in the game and, and you, you never wanted to come down to that one play. Um, so, you know, Collectively, proud of these guys, the effort that they gave to put themselves in a position to win a game where, you know, we're playing in a really hard-fought game against a tough team and not, not able to close it out. Just a, just a disappointing outcome. Credit to those guys. They made enough plays. Credit to that kid for making all three of those free throws, too. It was a big play. What changed uh, or what adjustments were made to answer their 15-0 run with a 15-0 run of your own? Our pressure, pressure affected them. You know, we got some good traps and, um, you know, we've practiced it sparingly, but they executed with the appropriate level of urgency because we were, we were down by 13. So urgency was critical and they answered that call and created some momentum and got them on their heels and, um, like I said, got the lead and uh, had a chance to, uh, you know, just a stop, just a rebound, just a couple of plays from uh, securing the victory. You think the ability to respond like you did, they go to 15-0 run, you go to 15-0 run, is just kind of another notch in the, the experience belt this year about, hey, you know, we can respond when things are pretty kind of adverse against us? Yeah, I, I think that's becoming a part of our character, that we've got some resilience and some toughness that will serve us well as we continue to grow. and, and uh, but it won't feel like a good experience tonight, you know. But uh, it will it will serve us at some point. All of these experiences will. But what would have served us better is to close it out after coming back like that. That would have been something that would have really, really helped this particular group. Um, so it, it's one of those things that I really hate for them that uh, that we couldn't close it out. Um, I didn't hear Zach's comments in here, but, uh, you know, he's a young man that I'm sure he sat here and took ownership. and. And it's never about one play like that, you know. Um, I, I just think uh, we got to make better decisions with the basketball down the stretch. We're down by two. We don't need a three. We had two guys force up threes, and we didn't have timeouts. So, uh, but th that, to your point, you know, experience those things, we, we, they'll be teachable. But uh, disappointing for the guys. Zurich didn't have a great shooting night, and it looked like he spent a lot of the time getting up off the floor. Uh, is he banged up more than usual or, or slowed by any kind of nagging injury still? I don't think so. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, I do think sometimes Zerg has a, you know, what makes him good is his aggressive nature. And he's got an aggressive nature. And then part of his learning curve is being able to pick them spots and know when you draw a crowd how you can, how you can really energize the rest of the group by seeing the floor and, and uh, He's getting better at that, and he will. Um, but you know, there's a there's a thing when a guy wants to, you know, capture the moment. Sometimes there's some value in that, and then finding that balance and trusting your teammates is part of his growth. But uh, I think he was on the floor because he was, you know, he was he was in a crowd. But uh, but he, I think he's okay. It took seven minutes to get your first field goal today. Obviously, some turnovers and stuff featured in there. Was there any other kind of common? denominator for why it was so hard to get the offense going? They're a good defensive team. Really good defensive team. Hard to simulate in practice. Um, I was fine. I thought we would settle in at some point and figure out uh, within their scheme how we could best attack them. I didn't feel like we got enough post touches in the game, so they did a good job of uh, uh, preventing us from getting the kind of touches so that we could play inside out there. Um, but uh, we did settle in eventually, and, and then uh, up until the, the point where they made the 15-0 run, um, it was kind of par for the course. They're one of the top defensive teams in the league, one of the top in the country. So uh, we knew it, it would come with a little bit of a grind. And uh, but we, we found a way to stay connected. And uh, and again, you know, we've talked about the way the game closed out. You mentioned that you've practiced your press. Sparingly, I think you said, and but you were pleased with the execution. Given the way it got you back into the game with that late run, is that something you'd like to start using more of going forward? Well, I don't want to be down 13 <laughs> with three minutes and 50 seconds left more often. Um, and so it, it, it served a purpose. Then people see a steady diet of it. You know, we're not we're not wired to be a you know 
you know, 40 minutes of hell, you know, we, we're not wired that way. It was a, it was a situational thing that we, that we handled that situation the appropriate way, I think. FA was really fighting tonight, it kind of seemed like, I guess, just kind of what kind of, what did he bring to the table tonight with his ability to really kind of bang on the boards and, and really go up against that? Yeah, you know, I, I didn't realize till late in the game that he had a double-double because I was, I just didn't like the fact that he wasn't touching it in the post very much. And uh, and a couple of times that he did catch it, they came with a quick double team, and he got it out of his hands really quickly. Um, so the fact that he was able to put together 16 points and 11 boards just in the flow of the game uh, speaks to uh, the level of fight that he brought to the game. You know, he's he's been consistent in that regard. He was a little emotional, got a technical foul, and and uh, and that was a byproduct of all right, he's not touching it that much. And, and he's not in a rhythm, and uh, and so. But once we got through that, he was he was terrific. The guys you inherited from last year's team are going to see a familiar face Thursday in Memphis with Kendrick Davis. Is that something that you'll even address with them, playing one of their old teammates, an old friend, or does that not even come up as you prepare for Memphis? Not for me, no. I mean, these guys know each other. They know the league. They follow the ball. Like that. That's not something that we. I mean. From a scouting standpoint, we have to talk about what we're up against with all of their personnel, including him. He's a terrific player, so there's no secrets about that, and these guys will know it. But, you know, we're, we're in no position to get caught up in that type of stuff right now. We just got to get better and, and uh, continue to fight and try to find ways to stay connected so that we can give ourselves the best possibility of winning games we play. Coach, you never want to learn from losses. You'd rather learn from wins. Uh, they feel better. Is there anything you take away from this one that you feel really good about? I guess how your team continued to fight when they were down and put themselves in a position to win. Is there is there some some victory in kind of like the learning lesson of the loss? There's there's a uh, definitely you know something to be uh, learned and taught from that what happened in the game there and and then you know just the continuous growth as a team, the decisions we make with the basketball. And, and uh, the connectedness inside of the group sometimes when uh, a guy makes a play that another guy doesn't like and you know, you know some of that stuff. Um, and we've been really good all year in terms of being resilient and bouncing back from disappointment. And, uh, but this is as disappointing as we've been all year because it was the first time, uh, not the first time, similar, similar scenario more time in the game against Iona, we're down 12. And the same thing, we press, it has an effect. We make a run back, take the lead, and we close the game out. Um, similar situation. And then once we got into that situation, without a timeout, we were a little bit frazzled offensively. And uh, there was a little bit of a, a, a um, I wouldn't say panic, but guys not knowing about we don't need a three. We're shooting two free throws on everything. It's only a two-point game. And, and, uh, and so just from a decision-making standpoint, technically there's something to be learned too, how we handle the actual situation that we were in. Yeah, a couple guys, uh, a couple of things that stand out. Todorovic taking a charge was a monster play. And the whole bench stood up. Uh, guys on the floor yelling. He's not known as a defensive player. To me, that was a culture type of play and a growth inside the program. And then... Uh, the number of assists that you guys have averaged at home is was 20 coming in. I think you were around 16 or so today. What does that say about the connectedness of your vision and the staff's vision of the buy-in from the team? Well, I would say, first of all, Steph is really getting better defensively. Um, but his willingness to, we talk about putting your body in a play. And he's been reluctant to do that. And so him doing that today was really, you know, it was neat to see the reaction of the guys, you know, it was like a real team thing. And I was proud of him, and he was proud of himself, and his teammates were happy for him, and it really energized us, uh, and it helped contribute to the run that we ended up making, just that, that energy. So really, really proud of him. He's continuing to improve. We had another dub, double-figured game tonight. And, um, yeah, yeah happy, happy to see that, that, that area of growth.